DAP or Decentralized App is a software application that runs on a distributed network. It's not hosted in a centralized server, but instead in a peer-to-peer -peer decentralized network, which aims to change our vision towards applications. For example, today, when you open your phone, you use at least three or four apps with different servers, so your data is stored in other companies' data centers, so they can, whenever they want, analyze it or sell it to other companies to use as well. But this never happens with dApps, because your data is decentralized, which means no company has control over it, because you will be interacting with the blockchain directly instead of different company servers. Now in order to explain more what dApps are, let's do a little comparison between a normal app and a dApp. As we said earlier, dApps code runs on the blockchain, while other apps run on server. However, the front-end power of both of them is pretty similar, built using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript that get displayed on the user screens. However, in contrast to Web2 applications, Web3 applications like dApps need a connection to the blockchain, which is managed by a special application called a wallet. It keeps a record of the private keys and blockchain address, which represents the unique 30 identities and points of reference. MetaMask is an example of a famous wallet. Without a software that manages our digital identity, we will not be able to interact with the blockchain. The Web3 therefore builds on the current Web2 stack and introduces additional elements on an application level. In the backend, Web3 adds a whole new infrastructure layer for decentralized applications to interact with the decentralized protocol stack. So while normal apps frontend connects to a normal API to fetch data and interacts with it, on the other hand, a dApps frontend connects to the dApps backend hosted in the blockchain, also known as smart contract, to do some operations and make transactions. In addition to this, there are tons of reasons why you should consider using dApps. First of all, zero downtime. Once the smart contract is deployed, the network as a whole will always be able to serve clients looking to interact with the contract. So to take it down, malicious actors should take every node of the blockchain down. Privacy. You can keep your identity hidden while deploying your dApps and interacting with them. Complete data integrity. That is stored on the blockchain is immutable and disputable thanks to cryptographic primitives. So malicious actors cannot force transactions or other data that has already been made public. Payments processing. There is no need to integrate with a fiat payments provider to accept funds from users, as users can transact directly using cryptocurrencies. In addition to this, dApps are open source and they contribute to removing transaction fees and on top of that, they can generate incomes for users. To sum up, despite the explosive growth in the last couple of years, dApps still have a long runway for growth since most existing dApps are hybrids of centralized and decentralized technology. And a lot of these dApps suck at their user interfaces design because they focus more on the technology itself. And finally, we're creatures of habits. So we can't just migrate all of us tomorrow to decentralized alternatives, which adopts a completely different concept with even a whole new authentication system. So do you think it is just a matter of time to witness a historic revolution based on dApps? Or is it for you just a fad increase in which a lot of hype is put? Tell me in the comments down below. So that was that simply explained. If you want to see more short videos like this, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.